What's up guys, this is Brie from Fracture Compass. Now, Tony underscore UA6 asked us on Instagram, hey, are we gonna do a tips and tricks video for maneuvering not scary farms? So guess what? I got up early on my day off, just an excuse to come to not scary farm, and we're gonna do this. consistently all through the night. Now if you have been here before and you're like I don't want to do infected, head straight towards Ghost Rider to the left and you're going to be going into the back area where you've got the new mazes, the depths, dark entity, trick or treat lights out, and paranormal ink. So as we're coming up on our first destination you're going to be passing the red barn. Do not go in the red barn. Keep walking past the red barn. Okay, you want to get to that infected, you want to get to Mystery Lodge, and as you come out, if there's still no line for Red Barn, then you can go in the Red Barn. But until then, folks, no. <laughs> so we have made it to our first destination. This is your first stop, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Mystery Lodge Infected Special Ops. I'm not just saying that because I'm in it, okay? I am saying that because I never saw the lines, but I know that they were three hours, okay? If you wait to get into this maze, you're gonna spend all day in this maze, all right? Just in a line. So, final first destination, Mystery Lodge. Get that gun, come on in, see us, shoot some zombies. All right, so this is the exit of Special Ops Infected. You've killed my zombies, you found the source of the infection, and now, what did I say? We're gonna go hit over to the new mazes. You're gonna take it over. Now, as we're walking by, we're kinda neighbors with the Red Barn. So, if for some reason you see that there are just people walking in to Red Barn, go ahead, do it. Just do Red Barn. Get it out, that's two mazes under your belt, and then book it straight over to back behind Ghost Rider. So as we're walking past this very awesome, very scary, longest, tallest, fastest wooden roller coaster on the west coast, you are going to be tempted to get in line. Do not get in line, or you will spend your entire night inside that queue. Head straight to these gates, guys. Straight to these gates. All right, we are now to not scary farm. All right, back here again, we've got the depths, we've got dark entity, we've got paranormal ink, we've got trick or treat lights out. Now, trick or treat lights out is going to be the second longest maze line only because they have that flashlight factor. Okay, so first, trick or treat lights out after you've done special ops, then go ahead and head to the depths, go ahead and head to dark entity, go ahead and head to paranormal ink. Those are just walk through mazes, they have no other. Um, involvement with items that you need to carry along with you. You guys are going to be in this area for a very long time. I'm going to say at least two and a half hours. Please stay hydrated and get some snacks. Alright guys, now a little 
tip and trick for you. If you guys sign up for the buffet, which is absolutely well worth it, because not only do you get all this amazing food, Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner, blah, 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 but you also get a souvenir sipper for the night that you can fill up, which is gonna help you when you're just getting thirsty and like running around from monsters. Um, come here to the Spurs Chop House. They're gonna take you in here and you're actually gonna get early entry to the park at 6.30. So with that, the mazes that are gonna be open for you this year are going to be the ones in the back area at Ghost Rider. So it's gonna be the two new mazes, Paranormal and Trick or Treat Lights Out. And you'll get, you'll get to go into those at 6.30 and not have to wait at seven like everybody else. And there's monsters and they talk to you. It's kind of cool. So you're going to have a couple options this year uh, for shows at Scary Farm. Here at the Birdcage Theater, they're bringing back Conjure. Okay, it's going to be comedy and magic, so try to fit it into your schedule. Alright, so our next show is The Hanging. Now, traditionally there has been three shows throughout the night. The first one has been at 8, but guess what? You're not going to make that one because you're going to be over at Special Ops and then you're going to probably go into Red Barn because there's no line there. You're most likely going to be heading over to Behind Ghost Rider because you're going to be hitting up those new mazes. So you're probably going to make the second or third and usually the second one is around 9.45 or so. So make your way over here. And I know people are like, well sometimes the hanging good and sometimes the hanging's bad. But guess what? We always go see it no matter what. So pick a show time. Alright, so we don't know who's going to be the major offender this year. That's still under wraps. But the gallows are up and the stage is being set. So if you have a prediction of who's going to be hung this year, let us know in the comments below. Alright guys, we've transitioned out of Ghost Town and now we are into Carnival. Now, our suggestion is to head to the right. You're going to be at Hang Time, Accelerator, Shadowlands, and Dark Ride. Those are going to be the main attractions. If you think you have and in the Charles Schultz Theater, are also known as the Ghoul Time Theater at this point of view, or at this point. You're gonna have the show Hacks, or you can also do the new Time Zombies for $5. All right guys, you've made it through Carnival, and I'll pass all those crazy clowns, and in the shadow of Accelerator is the entrance to Shadowlands right through those gates. So you've just done Shadowlands. Welcome to Dark Ride. So behind me is the exit to Dark Ride, guys. You can head straight across to Halloween Hood Nanny. Now, Halloween Hood Nanny is going to be up the whole time through October. Um, so if you guys have an annual pass, you can always hit this one up during the day when there's absolutely no line going on um, and save the mazes and everything for Scary Farm. If you don't, then after Dark Ride, tracks from Carnival and we are now in Fiesta Village and in here is the Awaken the Dead dance party. You can skip this. Alright, so now we've danced, right? Um, but we, most important, most important thing about passing through Fiesta Village and just kind of dancing your way through it is heading over to Forsaken Lake, past the fountain and into the fog. Welcome to Forsaken Lake. I'm very excited for this one, guys. I'm very excited. Remember that there's going to be different things going throughout the night here. They're not going to tell you what time it's going to happen, but things will happen throughout every scare zone, and this one in particular. So as we're walking through Forsaken Lake, where the worms crawl in and the worms crawl out, we're going to be following this lake all the way around, making our way to Camp Snoopy for Pumpkin Eater. All right, so we came out from Forsaken Lake over there. You're going to curl around and across from the Snoopy Fountain is going to be your entrance to Pumpkin Eater. All right, guys, you just got out of Pumpkin Eater and the hollow is waiting for you. Home of witches, witch hunters, undead colonials, and possessed scarecrows. Now the hollow goes all the way through Camp Snoopy. Back behind me, up, up on the very top of these rocks is where the Wicker Man was last year. the different scare zones, we just don't know when and they won't tell you.
Alright guys, so let's recap. If it's your first time here, or if you haven't been here in a long time, number one, you're going to hit up Special Ops Infected, alright? Again, not because I'm in it, but because that line gets to two and a half to three hours on some nights, alright? Remember that you're, we are constantly bringing out guns. You are going to get rifles yourself, so we are constantly bringing them out, and that's where the pulse is, right? Number two, you exit out of Special Ops Infected, just head over to Red Barn get it done. It's right across the way. Number three, you are going to get yourself safely, don't run, all the way to Ghost Rider and head into that back area for the depths, Dark Entity, Paranormal Inc., and Trick or Treat Lights Out. All right? Your Trick or Treat Lights Out is probably going to have the longest line, again, because they pulse it and you have to get a flashlight. That's the whole point of that maze. After that, head over to the hanging, see that show the second time, then you're going to cross back over and head over into Carnival for Shadowlands and Dark Ride. Once you've hit those two mazes up, head out towards Fiesta Village, you're going to be wiggling it over at Awaken of the Dead, pass right through, head into Forsaken Lake, check that area out, all the way around the lake down to where Pumpkin Eater is, out, and then into the hollows. So in between going to those mazes, make sure you hit up some of the shows where they have the hanging. Birdcage Theater has Conjure. Schultz Theater, or the Ghoul Time Theater, has Hacks, Cutting Room Floor. Okay? And then make sure that you eat and hydrate, because sometimes it's easy to forget. Take time to enjoy the atmosphere characters. Take time to enjoy the scare zones. Look around, don't just run through them. But look around and see the detail that Knotts puts into some of these things. And remember that you're gonna have those special moments going on. Again, I don't know when they're gonna happen, but they will happen. All right guys, now there is another option, and this is a super tip and trick. You could go total FCP style baller and just get the front of the line pass and go for the buffet and forget you ever saw this video. But in all seriousness, folks, if you guys just want to take your time and have a good time, definitely invest in the pre-scare buffet and also the front of the line pass. It'll make your lives a whole lot easier. You'll be able to take your time and you definitely will see everything. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more Scary Farm, more Horror Nights, more everything. We'll be hitting up Hollywood Horror Nights on September 15th, and surprise, we'll be actually going to Mickey's Halloween Party on September 24th. And then we'll also be doing a day in the life of a not scary farm monster, starting the 11th, all the way through the Halloween season. Always be ready, because you never know where your compass will take you guys. Bye-bye.